Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where I will be showing you a few of my favorite AI tools that help me as a product designer. They help me not only, you know, design and create content, but also do research and be more efficient in my work. So basically I want to go step by step with you guys and, and show you the different tools, right? So let's get, let's get started and see the first tool. So for me, the first tool is, is FigJam AI. And basically this is like a, a relatively new, well, not so new in, in the tech world, but uh, basically if you open Figma, you have something like this. And if you were to, you know, go over here to the right side and click on this button over here, you can generate, um, you can generate different things. You can generate charts, you can generate, you know, like a schedule, you can generate like a site map. So in this case, let's generate a site map. Let's say that we are we have a new client and we want to show them how it would work, right? So we can say, I'm um, hi, I have, or we don't have to say hi, we can say, I have a client um, project um, where they sell high end doors to uh, construction companies. Construction companies, can you please? generate a sitemap that um, a sitemap for their website and then if you click on generate um, it's you know gonna load and then eventually it'll populate the page with a sitemap and let's see how long that would take right now just a few seconds and basically we have a flowchart going from home to products about us contact us, you know, which type of, uh, of, of doors are you interested? So it, it kind of like takes the business model based off, off of this really brief, um, you know, prompt that I gave it. But if you go more into detail, it's going to give you obviously better results, right? And the good thing about this is that it, this is completely in Figma. So you can copy this and bring this to your Figma file. So um, you can build off the design space off of this you can also add some sticky notes, you know, and, and if you have a small team, you can kind of share this or you can even share this with your client, right? So this is the first tool, um, FigJam AI. Now, another cool um, tool here is called Relume. And basically it's, it's really known for, uh, as a component library for, for Webflow, but you can basically with their relatively new AI tool, I think it's about six months old, from this, from the time this video has been posted, um, but basically you can generate sitemaps and wireframes based off of a prompt, similar to FigJam AI. And basically, what it does is we can get the same prompt as as in Figma. Do it like this. Go back to Chrome, paste, and you can choose the amount of pages. Right, you can choose twenty plus pages, and um, we can generate a sitemap. And this is completely for free. Obviously, with FigJam, it's the same, completely for free. And you can generate, okay, it's, it's, it's a little bit different right, right now. It's not going to generate as simple as it is in FigJam with just, you know, um, as a flow chart, but it's, uh, it's going to create a little bit more advanced, um, you know, type of stacks like this, like this would be the whole homepage, right? And you can not only create sitemaps, but it creates wireframes for you. So this is actually the, my favorite part of, of Renewum so that it, it creates actual wireframes that you can use for your own design. You can share them to your, to your clients. Obviously with the free version, you only get one view of the page, but if you upgrade um, to a pro version of Relume, you can actually, actually view the entire wireframe and export it, copy it into, into uh, Figma and you know even add their own type of imaging and everything. So it, it makes your work much easier, right? Also, as you can see, it adds um, copy, right? I told them about the, the door business, the premium door business, and it creates a, a headline based off of that business model of uh, a little uh, paragraph text here. It creates these cards here, based, totally based off of that kind of small idea of what they have uh, of, their un of the AI's understanding of the actual business model. Now, the next tool that I want to show you is called Galileo.ai. And uh, Galileo AI is a little bit more than just creating wireframes, it's actually creating designs. So you can do text to UI, basically that's what it's called. 
you can get started for free and i believe yeah the standard is if you want to choose a monthly um, it's going to be 20 bucks a month but you can see a few examples of, of how they do it so you can do image to ui so you can upload an image and kind of create a, a ui based off based off of that image so um, or you can do the text to ui these are some examples so a profile page for a Japanese inspired store for cool ceramics that features a history of maker and ceramics for sale. Make the color light orange, right? And it creates like these different types of um, designs and you can export them to Figma, which is, is pretty, pretty cool, right? And then you can reiterate it a little bit and kind of show, you know, I like the second design. Can you center align the profile header? So basically he likes this one. Can you center it? So, okay, it's gonna look more like this. Amazing. Another tool that we have is something called V0 by Versal. And with V0, you can, you have a, a prompt, you have a chatbot just like with ChatGPT, for example, and you can generate um, components based off of this prompt, right? So if you wanna, for example, gener generate like a type of interactive header, um, you can do that. So let's, tr let's get this, for example, and we can use the same prompt from Galileo and say a profile page. So a profile hero section, or we can say an interactive profile hero section for Japanese inspired store for cool, for cool ceramics that feature the history of, of the maker and ceramics for sale. Make the color light orange. And then we can press enter. We can also add some images if you, for example, made the wireframe with Relume, you can um, put it here and it's gonna basically generate code for you. And you can use this code for your own project. You can also, for example, generate like custom code solutions for Framer. If you're into Framer, I do a lot of content about Framer, so you know how passionate I am about that tool. But you can generate uh, like custom code components for Framer, for example, with, um, with V0. And once it's st it stops generating, it gives you the code and it gives you the preview of how it would look like. All right, it's not so nice um, like the other tool, but it is interactive. And it kind of gives you the code for, for this, right? So it's a little bit more of a next step um, in terms of design. It's more towards uh, development, um, but this is just good for you to know. And basically you can, if you would want to use this you can export it, this code and bring it into Framer and put it into use. Now what we can do is, I mean, we're missing some images here. So what's a good tool for image generation? I think the most popular tool is Midjourney, for example. Um, Midjourney is a great tool for, for generating images. You just have to kind of learn it. I'm using the web version. There's the Discord version as well, but the, met, the web version midjourney.com um, I'd say is the easiest to, to, to use because you have this explore page and you can kind of explore different images. You can, you can uh, generate these different images. So these are like different images that I've generated in the past, right? I've used some images for like shops and, and stock pictures for, for like shop templates that I'm building in, in Framer, right? Um, so it's really good for stock images really good for backgrounds um, but again they're still uh, right so you can generate these different images I generated this one for example and then I use like this pan tool to increase the size on the left side now if you want to make these static images move a little bit let's say you want to add this like in the back of a of a hero section for a nice subtle animation you can use a tool like runway so runway is great because um, yeah, you can basically get AI tool, AI images, import this into this AI tool. And for example, you can select here, uh, you can select an image. Let's say I'm going to use this image from, from Midjourney that we just saw. And then it's going to upload. Once it uploads, we're going to, we're going to crop it. So it's like this. We can either put a portrait as well. And then we can write here a slow motion, subtle slow motion subtle wave movement and then we click on generate and wait for it to finish generating and once it's it, once it finished generating you can basically see this nice smooth movement you can extend it if you want a little bit 
um, by a couple of seconds. You see by five seconds, you can extend it and you can end up downloading this into your, uh, into your computer. If you want to take off this runway logo down here, you can just, you just have to pay for it. I, I believe it's around $20 a month. Um, or I mean, you can just crop it, you know, uh, so that you can take this away if you want to be cheap, but I would uh, recommend paying for it if you want to download it and you can also increase the quality as well. And a good content editing tool is called Adobe Firefly, which this is like the generative fill um, one. And basically you can just like paint out certain sections. So let's just go like this. This is just an example image of myself and you can paint out uh, a certain section. Let's say that we want to paint out my, my shirt. And then once that's done, let me just finish this a little bit. Now, once that's done, we can generate something. I put black football pads. Let's put like an orange sweater. Click on generate. And basically it's going to generate different options for you to choose from. This is also really good if you want to like go deeper into your, your stock images that you, that you create with these other AI tools. So for example, this is, well, you have to properly remove it. As you can see, there's a little bit of these things on the side, but basically it's, it's working pretty well. You can see different, different options. You just have to refine it a little bit. Now, another tool that I like and that I use often when it comes to design is coolers. And basically what you can do, it generates different color palettes. You can click right here on the right side and on, under explore, look at different color palettes. And basically, you know, you can choose one, you can drag it around in different places. You can click on this and choose different, uh, basically other shades based off of this main shade that it gave you. And then it generates other um, colors on the sides to match with that, right? So this is a pretty cool tool. Um, it also gives you like other ins inspiration tools. You can copy this, these colors and bring them to, to Figma and you can save them if you like them you can check the contrast and uh, yeah it's a it's a really cool uh, color tool to use for your uh, design projects now by far one of my favorite uh, ai tools that i use and i think is you know hands down one of the most important ones for ux designers or for developers in our industry to use is loom and um, basically you know, you use this for client communication, for uh, communication with your colleagues or with other freelancers, whatever. But basically, Loom is a tool where you can record yourself going through, going through a certain process in your screen. And what Loom has, and, and this is for the Loom uh, paid version, but uh, by the way, you have, I think, seven days of free trial for this. But what it has is basically, it has like this Loom AI which you can, for example, take action. So you can write a message, you can do a bug report, you can write a, a specific document, let's say a Q&A steps based off of this video that you made. This one was 32 minutes long that I made. It was another YouTube video that I posted on this channel. Um, but basically, it can create an issue based off of, of, of the content of this video. So it understands what you're saying. Not only that, if you wanna you know, upload this video to YouTube, it creates a transcript that you can use, which is amazing. Helps me a lot when creating, uh, you know, descriptions for my YouTube videos. It can remove silences. It can re remove uh, filler words. And you can basically download this transcript, bring it into another AI tool, which I'm going to show you right now, and create, you know, YouTube descriptions. You can create email, um, email uh, copy. You can do a bunch of things with this, right? Another tool which is quite similar to the Loom AI is this tool called Dovetail. And basically Dovetail is more for customer interviews, usability tests, document analysis, product feedback, sales calls, survey analysis. So we can go through each one of this. This is a great description from their website, by the way. So customer interviews, you can upload the, the, the video and it will generate a summary of certain points based off of the transcript that it generates. You can create, you can cluster use, usability tests by ease of use, inconsistency. So this is great for, for UX designers doing some UX research on a certain product or a certain feature of a product. Um, you can do document analysis, so you can upload a PDF and basically creates highlights of a, of a certain PDF. Um, product feedback, 
and, and, and sales calls, survey analysis, and more. So this is another great tool to you know get started with. You can get started for free. I already tried around with the free account and there's a lot for you to, to look for. So check that out as well. So the other tool that I really like to use is Claude. A lot of people like to use ChatGPT, but I, I, I kind of like Claude more. It's more comfortable to use. It's also very good in terms of technical things. So if you're you know trying to show it some code, um, it can understand it pretty well and can create um, code previews as well and, and kind of UIs as well. So it's, it's a kind of like all in one tool. And I like to use Claude, especially when I, when I make my transcripts for my Loom videos, I bring it into Claude. I create, for example, time, time lapse for my videos. I create, you know, my YouTube descriptions. If I have, for example, like a type of uh, client outreach, it helps me create the, the, the copy for that. Also copy for websites. You can take screenshots and bring it into here, basically upload different screenshots. You can connect your Google Drive to certain docs. It's, it's a great tool all around. This is like the all-in-one, you know, generalist AI tool that I use. Another tool that I heard is really good and I honestly haven't really tried it out, but I really want to get, um, you know, I really want to try it out as soon as possible is Perplexity AI. Um, so basically it's a search engine powered by AI and it generates your the answers with sources, right? And it's very good in terms of UX research. I found this really good article on Medium on how the power of, of perplexity in research and it basically shows you how you can start with, with something with a general, um, you know, a general question. It gives you answers and based off of those answers, I mean, it gives you answers with sources, which is amazing. And based off of those answers, you can do like this pro search where it conducts market research. It identifies competitors based off of this specific, um, you know, uh, company or, or sector that you're analyzing. And it kind of generates features based off of that um, research that it's conducting. So I think that's really interesting. You can also do some, some uh, research on their users, their pain points, their processes, etc. So this is another tool similar to Claude, but it, it, it generates, it's more of a, of a search engine that generates um, actual sources that you can use and you can use in your um, client work as backup saying, hey, I you know went and designed this particular page with this in mind because I, uh, based off of perplexities research um, with these sources, you can see that this is the right decision, right? So that's, that's exactly why I want to um, try perplexity. I want to do uh, you know data-driven design based off of real research that you can easily source with perplexity. So yeah, guys, this was the whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was, there's a lot of different AI tools coming out like every week, every month. So it's really important to get yourself updated. I think a good place to do that is if, if you are into um, Twitter or X, as they call it now, um, they have a lot of, you know, different developers creating new tools. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and hope you guys hope to see you soon thanks bye bye now another uh content creation tool that i actually want to show you guys as well is this tool called everart everart.ai um basically what it does is that you can you can upload a few brand assets like let's say that you're making like a backpack brand and you you can generate different uh you know backgrounds of a, of a photo shoot so for example, you can see here, this is the shoe, this is the asset, and then it generated these, these different images, right? So this is a really cool um, AI tool for if you're, for example, building like an e-commerce template, right? And you want to generate good stock images.